we're back again. We last post we were able to show you how to query your attribute table using QGIS. So we're about to, we're here to do that in ArcMap 10.2. So basically, if you look at the map board, what we have here are points. These various points are points taken during a survey. And if you look at the pop-up window, these points have a lot of um, information on them. Let's right click here and open the attribute table. If you notice on the attribute table, there's a lot of information. Actually, this information was gathered during a building survey of um, these points. Um, these points. So these points have a lot of information on them if you look very well they have the address in which the buildings existed they are in which the buildings exist they have their registration number their hard code the date that the buildings were built their repair states the building color the officer code of the officer that did this survey and images this is just a demo so there's basically one image that we put there now if you look closely at our table all this information here we need to get filter some out so when we talk about querying is more or less filtering out uh, information out of a lot of data so the what, what our criteria today we want to points that are in repair states that is bad and whose building color is blue we want to know those points and have other information on them so maybe the council can act so if we close this we go to selection select by attributes the selection by attributes is a, a table with a dialog box that basically allows us to create what we call an SQL statement. Most time, ArcMap and ArcGIS use common SQL statements to execute queries. Now, if you look basically, the layer we are talking about is places. There's no other layer actually on our table of contents. We method is that we want to create a new selection. We're not intending to add to another selection. So our selection, what our criteria? First of all, criteria is that we need buildings in repair state that are equal to the unique our unique value is bad then we also need that building to be blue in color so we now put and and we look for that field the field for colors of building is building repair survey csv building color we double click you have to double click equal then we look for the unique values inside this field it will bring it out here blue is what we're looking for so basically we've made our statement if you look closely what we are saying is select from places that's a layer where in the field repair states you have bad and where in the field building color is blue so that will say okay oh yeah there it is you see that the the selection tool has selected only one point let's check out the pop-up table now the pop-up window tells us that good the date it was established was 1967 the repair state is bad and the building color is blue so it satisfies both our criteria for the building color to the blue and the repair state to be bad now the if the date established is all that information 1967 no wonder it's in a bad state of repair the address is model road and the number is number 23 well for for further information we can right click on the layer open the attribute table and see the whole extent of all the information we need on this particular point so this is just how we query data on uh, we create data within an attribute table this we do by selection by attributes thanks for listening and um we feel free to send in your comments.